So we're talking about the promise, the promise of God, the promise of the Holy Spirit. And we found out if we'll ask and keep on asking, if we'll seek and keep on seeking, if we'll knock and keep on knocking, the door will be open, we will find and we will receive. Amen? But it's, a, it's not something you try, it's something you live. Amen. I'm Keith Brown. This is Tack Room Devotional. As you can see, it's pretty brisk here this morning, and so we're going to move right along. I want to talk to you about this promise. I want you to see what happens as we, as we live this out, receive it by faith. Watch the power that, that, that is manifest. Watch this. I'm just going to pretty much go through Scripture. So this is Matthew chapter 21, verse 22, and it says this, And whatever things you ask in prayer, believing, you will receive. Now, this is in red letters. This is Jesus saying, whatever you ask in my name, you will receive. Do you believe that? You should. Now again, understand something. This is not us asking for our own pleasure. As we fall more and more in love with God, as we continue to seek and knock and ask, we start to ask based upon His Spirit within us. We begin to ask things that, are, that line up with the kingdom of God. It's not about asking for a new truck or a new horse or a new house. It's about finding out what the Spirit of God is saying to you on the inside, believing God for it, and seeking first the kingdom of God. When you do that, then you'll ask and you'll see, you'll receive. Why? Because it's God's good pleasure. Here's, a, here's another passage, Mark chapter 9, verse 23. Jesus said to him, If you can believe, all things are possible to him who believes. Now, here's the funny part. There's other scripture that Jesus says, All things are possible to God. Well, we'll all accept that. All things are possible to God. But will you accept all things are possible to them that believe? Again, we talked about faith. You have to not have an object of your faith, and that object has to be God. If he's the God of the Bible and you're doing things according to his kingdom, you'll ask and you'll receive, and all things are possible to those who believe. Amen. Let's move on to Mark 11, verse 22. We've all heard this. Jesus answered and said to him, Have faith in God. For assuredly I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, be removed and cast into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that those things he says will be done, he will have whatever he says. Therefore I say to you, whatever things you ask when you pray, believe that you receive them, and you will have them. Now again, this all lines up with the fact that we are right with God, that we're seeking God, we're knocking, we're constantly asking, we're coming before His throne asking what His will would be. We're following the unction of the Holy Spirit. We have that power within us to be witnesses, and that should be our main focus. Amen? Um, and I just lost my iPad. So what we need to do again we need to not just try this out we need to begin to ask every day in the name of jesus we need to seek god's kingdom seek first his kingdom his kingdom and all these things that be added those are the things that are so important to us listen i love you jesus loves you i pray that god would richly bless you as you diligently seek him and serve him and by the way stay warm <laughs>